to it or half ball it and if the cue ball went in well it's not a deliberate foul mm. but uh, he's, he gave Robertson the chance and he duly took it. Okay, well, of course earlier today we were uh, wishing goodbye to Stephen Hendricks, a Crucible player, one player who set quite a record here at the Crucible for the amount of times he appeared in the final, six times. Jimmy White celebrating his 50th birthday today, so we send out very happy birthday to the world win, Jimmy White. Yes, I concur with that, Jimmy. 50 today. He's joined the oldies. And Neil Robertson popped off to collect something out of the dressing room and uh, it was an extension he went to collect. Very unusual for a player to forget the very important uh, equipment. We saw him shaking his head in the middle part of that game because he realised he wanted the extension on and then thought, where is it? Looked under the table, looked on the seat, realised he'd left it in the dressing room and this time he's come out with the extensions. Albeit, Neil Sullivan in first in this frame. Three. <clears throat> yes, off a, a very poor break off shot from Neil Robertson. Four. How many times we see Ronnie O'Sullivan clear the table from the other guy's break off, even if it's been a good one? Eleven. Twelve. Just that one loose red at the back of the pack. It, it could go into the outside red and still be on that one. Purposely played for it. A little surprised because Ronnie normally would play just to flick the outside one. He maybe thought, if I it too thin, I won't be on the red. So he's left it purposely. And if he's straight, he's going to have to leave an angle on it to get into the pack. Well, the only problem with those two reds above the black, it's very similar to when he played the shot in the previous frame. He's going to have to play the screw into the pack, and he doesn't really want to. But he uh, doesn't want it on the thick. <laughs> Come to play it better. Hit them half four, which he had to do. And you see with the screw shot, just push the other red on. Excellent. Just sit still, please. Just don't move. So much Q power going into the pack of reds there, he really did shift them around. Would have been easy to have stuck on a red there. And it was Q power with very little effort as well, which was a very important part of that shot. 34. It's nine times out of ten when the pack's flat at the back as it was there. The screw shot is not the shot, but... The fact that there was one red just sticking out, that he knew if he screwed off the pack, he would be kissing into that red. And this is what's made Ronnie O'Sullivan one of the greatest breakthroughs in the game. Then he saw a still into the pack. He knew the screw then was no good after play, the still into the pack. And this watch what happens. It stuns and then stops. Brilliant shot again. On that particular shot, there were three reds in the open. But Ronnie O'Sullivan knows full well how to win a frame of snooker, is to get them all in the open. Just as you can see a little bit betwixt and between here, not nicely on either red in the middle or this one in the corner. You would expect Fourth. O'Sullivan to make a very large break from here. Forty-nine. Fifty-seven. Well, at first glance, he's not really on one nicely. The one in the middle will cut, but if he plays it plain ball, he'll be kissing the yellow. So he may have to play with a bit of side to miss that, or even stun. So what the, that distilled pot just passes. Be flicking out for the pink as well. Fifty-eight. 
few. No chances there. Made sure he just came into open play. Didn't know quite whether he'd be on Blue or Bort Keller there. That was Robertson's last chance, I think, in this frame. And it was a very poor break off that gave him this opportunity. 63. This is the break off. As you can see, he brings the red right up over the middle pocket. We'll show you that in a second what actually happened. It came up past the blue, left Ronnie a relatively easy opening red, Seven. which he knocked in, and the rest now is history. 71. I think a total clearance is imminent here. And how easy has he made this look? 77. 78. Should he go on to make a centre here? It'll be the 58th of the tournament. Ronnie's fifth. And still trailing the rookie, Jamie Jones, who's had seven so far. That is a remarkable 86. performance from Jamie Jones. Oh, what a fly off the cushion that was. That's generated two foot of pace there, further than he wanted. But Ronnie, one of those players that hardly ever complains about the cushions. 93. That time he needed a bounce and didn't get one. But he's luckily finished on the blue in the corner. 98. 99. That Jan Verhas. Yeah, it's got to be quicker, Jan. <laughs> Needs a pair of plimps holes on the way, Ronnie's not going to win at the minute. Another brilliant century from Ronnie O'Sullivan, the 58th of the match. That's another tour of the pounds to the Haven House Hospice, kindly donated by our sponsors, Betfred.com. 104. 104. And now we've lost three frames on the trot. It was essential oh, to get a, a good start, and he did that. Neil Robertson was disappointed with his break off. Ronnie O'Sullivan with applied with a 104 and two clear again at 10 8. Well, we see Ronnie O'Sullivan doing what he does best. He gets a sniff of an opportunity. Yeah. Kennedy takes full advantage. Yeah, and I'm not quite sure whether Neil Robertson's concentration was broken when he had to go back out after the first frame. He forgot his extension. So he went back out to the dressing room to get his extension. He came.